This title is Network Consultant that's located in Littleton, Colorado. Okay, before I go any further, you should know that if you're interested in knowing more about cybersecurity, if you come here, you watch me talk about my job, what I do, you should also know that I've been working for from home for the last four years and it's awesome. If you're interested in that, and you wanna know more information, you wanna know how I've been able to get offered all of these opportunities every week, including remote jobs, go to this link, go check it out. There's courses there, there's free stuff that's downloadable. Check it out, see if you like it. Um, and if you're interested, enroll. All right, let's keep going. A job type, sorry. It's a full-time position. It's for green, heart, green card holders, citizens, and green card to EAD holders. EAD card is like um, an authorized, it's for people who are not citizens of the United States, but they're authorized to work in the United States. Let's Okay, let's keep going here. Let's just go right into the roles and responsibilities. This is going to be a quick one, I think, because this, this one gets straight to the point. It says uh, technical and business discussions with the enterprise customer uh, team to understand requirements and take their view uh, on target architecture. Okay, um, they want you to prepare, prepare summary view of existing network. They want you to understand existing LAN WAN architecture of enterprise, uh, including point-to-point -point MPLS links, internet links, cloud connectivity, redundancy, quality of service, and security. Understand the application traffic patterns. And then they say, let's see, some others. There's a lot of stuff that I don't really quite understand. I'm not a network guy, so bear with me. But, you know, I understand basic stuff, but I don't understand EOS or EOL. End of life, end of service, end of service, end of life, device assessment. Oh, okay. That must be what that means. Like, that's when you have, like, a, a router or switch and... um Cisco or Juniper no longer supports it, or the software, the iOS, uh, no longer supported by software uh, by Cisco, and uh, you got to go and update that. So you do like an analysis to say, okay, what? Let me see all the thousand systems in this network in this enterprise. When uh, are these updated? Are is the firmware updated? Is the software updated? Is the hardware out of date? Will that will they still be? supported by the vendor if it breaks and this is what large organizations have to do large organizations that have like hundreds of different pcs and that are protecting very important data or or hundreds of, of of switches and routers and internet working devices and they have to keep those updated because the vendor who they bought those from for example like a cisco they have a huge contract with them, like where the cisco will support them like for fifty thousand or hundred thousand a year whatever it is and uh, they, but they, Cisco only supports certain uh, software, and in the old software, you gotta get rid of it, you gotta replace it. So what happens is when you have a lot of stuff in an environment, and you're trying to keep your baseline good, baseline meaning all of your equipment, all of your inventory, mindful of all that, you know where everything is, you know how you have a list of all your software, all that stuff. That's your baseline. Anyway, you're keeping up with your baseline, but every now and then. The stuff drops off like it's old. You know, Windows not you have Windows 95 in your environment. <laughs> you have Windows 7 in your environment. You know, that's not good because it's it's not no longer supported by Microsoft. It's no longer supported by Cisco or whoever. So that's what EOS and EOL means. Okay, next generation technology adoption possibilities such as SD WAN virtualization, uh, VNF virtual network something and uh, wireless LAN. So you need to have uh, lots of information on those kinds of things. Prepare a business case for SD-WAN. What is SD? Do anybody know what SD-WAN is? Please put that in the comments below if you know what that is. I have no idea. Uh, let's see. You have to, des you'll design for cover, designs for, designs to cover uh, next generation technologies. SD-WAN, there's SD-WAN again, LAN, wireless and uh, branch in a box wow I don't know like there's a lot of stuff here I have no idea what it is <laughs> I don't know what this stuff is uh, that's when you know you don't go for this job when you don't know what the stuff is so skills that they're looking for seasoned, net, seasoned network professional with a broader deeper technology coverage of the following uh, experience in network design knowledge of routing uh, proto routing protocols such as uh, BGP Open Shorter's Path First, EIGRP, 
uh, TCP IP routing on Cisco and Juniper. Those are like the top ones right there. Let's see. Advanced knowledge of all Ethernet and LAN. Um, IPS, IDS vendors. Oh, okay. Here's a good one. So they want you to have security and security related systems including, uh, they want you to have skills in these related systems. Firewall, IPS, IDS, and multiple vendors including Palo Alto, Cisco, Juniper, and, and Citrix. It sounds like this, oh, okay, yes. Exposure to MPLS networks. Sounds like this is like one of those agencies that manages multiple networks. What will happen is like these companies, they, they get these contracts with multiple people. Like they have one that does for Comcast and then they have one for like AT&T and one for those probably the same company now, are they? I don't know, but anyway, you have like three, four different organizations, and all they do is they staff, they they have a, a central, protected, secure environment, and then they log in to each one of these clients, and then they fix whatever needs to be fixed. That's what it sounds like, because that's a lot of stuff to, that's a lot of vendors to have knowledge of. Palo Alto is a, like a firewall, an internet working device company. Cisco and Juniper also do firewall and net, internet working devices and Citrix, Citrix. Normally companies have like one thing that they do. They don't like have 15 different vendors for one different product. So that's why I'm, I'm assuming it's a multi, they're doing multiple organizations. And then there's a list of secondary skills here and they're saying that uh, a valid Cisco Juniper certification will add extra advantage. So that's it guys. I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the link below. And again, if you're interested in this, uh, how I get all these crazy opportunities, this one doesn't even apply. This is networking stuff. I've been out of networking for a long time. But how do I get all this stuff? Well, I have a course that explains all of that. So if you're interested, go here. And that's it. See you guys on the flip side. Boom.